You know, one of, one of the things that I've seen, really, really seen up north, uh, is how bad that little buddy right there has been ignored. To me, there's been no bait that has caught as many smallmouth bass as a three and a half inch tube, okay? Since the arrival of the drop shot, it's kind of one of those baits that's it, it's, it's gone, completely gone to the wayside where it's made a tube so much more powerful now and it's just because the, the fish are not as conditioned to it as they were back when everybody was throwing it 10 years ago. There he is. Big in! Oh, it's a little large mouth. Is one of the beauties of, uh, dude, let's just stay here all day, <laughs> right? Um, one of the beauties of that bait, you see how shallow we're fishing? I mean, we're fishing four to five foot of water with, I got a half ounce in that right there. That's all rate of fall. That's all rate of fall. I was fishing a tournament 13 years ago and I was fishing about seven to 11 feet of water on Lake Erie and it slicked off real calm, not catching them, not catching them, not catching them. And I was throwing what I was catching them on the day before. I was throwing a 5 sixteenths. I'll never forget this. I was throwing it at a rock pile throwing at a specific rock pile. Not catching them, not catching them, not catching them. At 11 o'clock in the morning, I pulled out my half ounce bombers and load them up in the tube. Threw at the exact rock pile and it was sinking, got to the bottom and I cracked it one time, poof, and I caught a four pounder and I thought, really? I sat there for the next four days, three days of that event and pounded them, dead slick calm like it is right here, where we notoriously think well, you need to go lighter, go lighter. That's all we've read. Put a bowling ball in there and bust them. What makes a tube so powerful, it's a profile bait. When you just look at the profile of that bait, it mimics every single thing a fish, especially a smallmouth, wants to make cry. A tube is one of those baits. It's almost like a jig is when you talk about largemouth fishing. It's got power all year long. You know what's weird is how I fish a tube is, is actually a lot, 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 lot different than um, kind of how we kind of grew up reading about tube fishing. We always learned to go to a lighter head. I do the polar opposite. If you look at all of my tubes, they've got lead up in there. The lightest tube that I fish is a 5 16th, but I'll fish them all the way up to a, to a 3 quarter ounce in a tube. And what you get out of that is you hear a lot, you know, I'll throw a Van Dam reference out there. Whenever he does a spinnerbait or a crankbait video, he talks about a reaction bite. I mean, it's just a freaking hog snatching mess. It's the exact same thing with a tube jig. When you launch this thing out there, number one, every time I'm, except for throwing at this barge tie up, but every time I fish a tube, I'm launching that thing, launching it. As far as I can get it away from the boat, and basically what you're trying to do is just cause a disturbance on the bottom. When I'm up north and really dialed in taping with a tube, I want that thing getting, it's getting a reaction bite with a notoriously slow bait. Oh. <laughs> Mac daddy right there. God. And the other side is when the rest of the crowd, when the rest of the crowd around you is, is fishing an eighth ounce or a three sixteenths or a quarter, rate of fall with a tube is so incredibly critical to catching bigger fish. The heavier I go, the increase of quality I catch on it. But I rarely do that with a tube, rarely. When I throw that thing out there, I want it making as big a commotion on the bottom to attract whatever's around it because generally where a tube's at its most powerful is in clear water. Where a fish can dial in, he can see it from 20 feet away, and basically it's a death snap. When I'm fishing a very, 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 very heavily pressured area, I'll go to a 15 to a 20 foot leader on braid just because of the pressure. And, and what that also will do, the longer the leader you go to, the more natural your bait will act with a, with a braid to floral leader. 
The longer your leader is, the more natural your bait's gonna look. There's one. Well, you knew there was gonna be one over there. Look at a little ridge runner. Now, granted, that right there is not a giant smallmouth, but you see what that rod does at the side of the boat right there? Where I can totally overpower that fish, that bow and that rod, and I can leverage him instead of him digging, 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 digging. I can leverage him instead of him leveraging me. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at that. <laughs>